हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर तारिक अशरफ फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन मॉड्यूल स्टेटिस्टिकल एंड फाइनेंशियल डेटा बेसिस फ्रॉम पेपर इंफॉर्मेशन सोर्सेज इन सोशल साइंस सो स्टूडेंट्स लेटस सी वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फ्राम दिस मॉड्यूल द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल इज टू फेमिलराइज विद द स्टेटिस्टिकल एंड फाइनेंशियल डेटा बेसिस Social science researchers often need data and statistics to support their work. A subject like economics and finance largely consists of empirical evidences and rely on statistics heavily. Even sociologists and psychologists look for socio-economic indicators in support of their findings. Though data is collected by governmental agencies, but several database vendors have emerged who organize at further value and sell these commercially similarly there are several national and international organizations which have developed databases of different indicators and provide access on subscription basis these databases are highly important in the area of research and it is the responsibility of the libraries to provide access to these databases to researchers and library members so that they are able to use them in their findings and strengthen the research through these socio economic indicators these databases help immensely to the researchers and the scholars to find various details about economic conditions social conditions and political conditions even through various parameters databases like indiastat.com or world bank online provide access to huge information in the form of statistics similarly there are financial and corporate databases which provide information on companies on their various functioning formats and access to their financial indicators like profit and loss accounts balance sheet turnover and other indicators you can compare the information of two companies in terms of their finances you can also compare the information with with the entire industry how a particular company is doing with with a particular company like how state bank is doing with with banking industry or maruti udyog is doing with with automobile industry this type of information is readily available through these databases and this is also very helpful to the corporates so that they arrive at right kind of indicators before launching their products etc or designing their services earlier this kind of information used to be available in various reports various various publications of government of india now in digital format they have the ease of providing access 24 by 7 and which can be updated in real time this is the most important and most important feature of these databases that they are updated in real time and there is no lag in their publishing and the accessibility hence they are reliable source of information and they further spruce up the research findings of an scholar as they are accompanied by these socio economic details or indicators important financial and statistical databases indiastat.com indiastat.com is one of the most important statistical databases coming from india indiastat.com collects collates and compiles in near in ready to use socio economic information about india 
and its states and to make it available online. IndiaStat.com is a cluster of 57 sites including India-specific, sector-specific and state-specific sites. IndiaStat.com provides services to research fraternity from academic, professional and corporate world with authentic and comprehensive compilation of secondary level socioeconomic statistical data about India and its states on more than 35 variables like national income, demography, socioeconomic development, elections, health, crimes, education, and so. IndiaStar.com basically covers each and every area of economy and society. It provides a single window access to all these indicators and one of the most important feature of this database is that it also covers socioeconomic indicators of different states of India. Information on states is very difficult to get and micro level and both macro level data is provided by IndiaState.com and it is one of the most distinguishing feature of this database. India Statistics. India Statistics is socioeconomic online database brought out by Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, Government of India and contains official data on a wide array of subjects. It is freely available and covers India and overview, agriculture sector, industry sector, service sector, social sector and miscellaneous other sectors. So in a sense, India Statistics is an official platform providing information on various Indian sectors for researchers and scholars. Coming to various statistical and financial databases, Center for Monitoring Indian Economy is a leading business information company established in 1976. It straddles the entire information food chain from primary data collection through analytics and forecasting. Center for Monitoring Indian Economy provides service to the entire spectrum of business information consumers that includes governments, academia, financial markets, business enterprises, professionals, and the media. CMIE produces economic and business databases and develops specialized analytical tools for searching them. It delivers these to its customers for information and decision making and for research. It analyzes the data to decipher trends in the economy. Yet another database is World Bank Online, which provides high quality national and international statistics to clients within and outside the bank and to improve the capacity of member countries to produce and use statistical information. Some of the important databases are World Development Indicators, Global Development Finance Online, and African Development Indicators. World Development Indicators provides direct access to more than 800 developmental indicators within time series for 209 countries and 18 countries groups from 1960 to 2008. Global Development Finance Online provides direct access to more than 200 debt and financial flows indicators for 120 countries that report public and publicly guaranteed debt to World Bank debtor reporting system. African Development Indicators contains over 1400 indicators and time series from 1960 for 53 countries where data are available. Data include social, economic, financial, natural resources, infrastructure, governance, partnership, and environmental indicators. 
Thus, it can be concluded that socioeconomic indicators are vital for research and should be subscribed by all libraries. Center for Monitoring Indian Economies, CMIE. CMIE provides and produces economic and business databases and develops specialized analytical tools to deliver these to its customers for decision making and for research. CMIE is a commercial organization and its databases are available on subscription basis only. CMIE databases. CMIE, as stated earlier, brings out several databases. Some of the important databases are as follows. Economic Outlook. Economic Outlook consists of macroeconomic forecasts and insights. It is analysis of data release and copious time series data. Industry Outlook. Industry Outlook provides a historical time series and forecast. It covers 193 industries covering all services sectors. Proves. Proves is the largest database of financial performance of Indian companies. It covers more than 10,000 listed companies and is powered by a versatile software that empowers its users. Provides, Proves provides complete information on Indian corporate sector and its activities. CAPEX CAPEX database tracks the creation of new capacities. It documents the new projects which are taken by Government of India from intention through implementation and its completion. In a sense, CAPEX is a database which covers all the major information about the projects which are launched from their inception and their completion. Commodities. This is another database of CMIE and most comprehensive and reliable source of information on Indian community prices. It provides market intelligence, crop forecast and time series data for agricultural commodities. Consumer Pyramids. It is a database which is the results from India's largest survey of households wherein around 1,40,000 households have been surveyed every quarter and the results of these surveys are provided through this database. States of India. It is yet another database of Center for Monitoring Indian Economy. It is a comprehensive compilation of a state level statistics and is supported by official statistical documents from state governments. Capital Line Plus Capital Line Plus is a major corporate database and provides fundamental and market data on more than 20,000 Indian listed and unlisted companies classified under more than 300 industries. It has extensive financial and non-financial information on Indian companies. Coverage of data on each company includes balance sheets, profit and loss, count, segment finance, funds flow, cash flow, foreign exchange, research and development, key ratios, quarterly results, finished products, share price data, raw material, price chart, shareholding pattern, corporate events, director's report, news, research analysis, and much more. ISI Emerging Market ISI Emerging Market is an international database and delivers hard to get information on more than 80 emerging markets through its online emerging market information service. 
it aggregates and produces unique content including full text news articles financial statements company information industry analysis equity quotes macroeconomic statistics and market specific information the type of, inf- of information which is covered is company information analyst reports news country information country profiles economy emerging markets news statistics and industry information in the form of industry reports agriculture automotive banking beverages business and professional services chemical computing construction cosmetics electronics energy financial services food healthcare household appliances information technology insurance leisure and machinery etc cic asia database cic asia database focuses on asian economic industrial and financial time series data and company fundamental data it covers 13 industry sectors mining and manufacturing pharmaceutical textile tourism transportation post and telecom thus it can be seen from this description of databases that there are several such databases available in the field of social sciences which provide statistics and financial information to researchers and scholar scholars and students these databases are updated on daily basis and it is one of the most distinguishing aspect of online information systems in print information system there is a problem of updation normally the print sources are updated on yearly basis whereas in electronic format the updation is available in real time this provides a very powerful tool both for planners and policy makers and researchers as the information changes it becomes immediately available to the researchers and policy makers it is the responsibility of the libraries to provide access to these vital resources so that research is supplemented by statistical and financial inputs without input from statistical sources and financial sources it is very difficult to arrive at some strong findings there is a need for providing training both to the users and to the library staff as most of these databases are query based and technical in nature hence there is a need for capacity building in the area of statistical and financial databases and regular program should be organized by the libraries for conducting training once library staff is trained in handling these technical databases then they can easily provide support to students and research scholars similarly experts can be invited from the database companies themselves to conduct such programs because these experts from these companies are well trained they can conduct the program more effectively help can be taken from the database vendors for conducting these kind of awareness and training programs for the research scholars and the library users one of the issue related with these databases the reliability of information since most of the information is conducted is collected by government itself so normally the information reliability is never questioned 
these databases only aggregate this information collected by government agencies and bring out in a form of database. They add value to these databases and provide query based solutions. Hence, it can be safely stated that these are reliable databases coming from government sources itself and from primary sources. Government regularly conducts surveys and collects data. This data and the result of these surveys are analyzed by these database vendors and aggregated in the form of single database. As and when the information comes and the results change, these are immediately incorporated in these databases and are made available in real time. Hence, it can be also argued that the information is not only authentic coming from official sources but also updated on regular basis. Yet another important feature of these databases is that a user can do a lot of value addition through these. These databases not only provide access to information on various sectors like agriculture, banking, cement, energy, insurance, textile, tourism, telecom and other sectors. But they also represent the information in graphic format. A user can generate various kind of diagrams, various kind of charts. This information can also be downloaded in various formats. It can be downloaded in Excel format and can be easily incorporated into research projects. Hence, there is ease of access and also ease of usage and adding value to the research through these databases. They are also shareable and exportable. Once information is downloaded, it can be easily shared across the communities and can be also saved for future use. There is also facility of alert services through these databases. Whenever some new developments take place, whenever some new addition takes place, an immediate alert is sent to the users. So that user is immediately informed, the user becomes immediately aware that something new is available to the through this database. Hence, it is a time saving system where user has no need to visit the site for looking for information. He and she is immediately informed about whatever is new available through an email alert and she or he can access it as and when required. Hence, it can be stated that these databases are extremely powerful and also empowering tools for research and have made research output effective and also time saving in a sense. It can be seen that there are several databases available online to researchers containing statistical information in different areas of economy. These databases allow researchers with solid empirical evidence in support of their work and immense value to it is added. Most of the universities subscribe to these databases for the use and benefit of their students and teachers. Without these databases, it will be very difficult to get the information on these socioeconomic indicators which are changing rapidly and which require regular updation. So it is very important that these databases are made available and also proper training is provided to researchers so that they can use them effectively. Most of these databases are searchable and also query based. Some of these databases are very easy to use, they simply generate tables and also other uh, indicators like 
graphs and bar diagrams, etc. The other databases like Capital Line Plus or Proves from Center for Monitoring Economy are query based and a researcher can extensively query these and find relevant information. These databases are also used by corporates. Large number of students who work in various companies after their graduation or post-graduation are also supposed to know these databases functioning and have perfect knowledge. It helps them in their placement process. So it is again a social responsibility of libraries to provide access to these databases and train our students in their effective usage so that when they go for placement interview etc they have complete knowledge of these and are also able to work effectively and use them in their working process it immensely helps them in their career and also these are essential for the researchers who always require current and real-time information to in support of their research findings. If these socioeconomic indicators are not available easily, then it affects the research adversely because most of the policies and the planning is done on the basis of these socioeconomic prevailing situation. So it is essential that these databases are widely accessible to the students. So whenever they work in various cap capacities with governmental organization or non-governmental organization, they understand, they have the knowledge of these resources and they can input, they can take input from these resources while, while assessing the formulation of policies or, or, or themselves laying down these policies and planning etc. Thank you.